So here's the example you were given on your canvas. Uh, you were told a line that goes through the points 5, net 1, and 0, 3. So I'm going to go ahead and graph those first, just so we get an idea of what this line looks like. That's what it looks like right there. And we are going to solve this in the same way. We're looking for y equals mx plus b. My slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which here equates to 3 minus 1 over 0 minus 5, which is negative 2 fifths. There's my negative. So my slope is negative 2 fifths, and my y-intercept is right there. My y-intercept is 3. So what's my equation? y equals negative 2 fifths x plus 3. Again, if you did not get this one right and cannot find out what you did wrong, right, uh, Raise your hand, and then this pretty looking guy will walk right over to you, and uh, we will work it out, okay? Uh, I want to make sure you guys are understanding this as you go, all right? Let's do the last set of examples here. Write an equation for the linear function with the x, with the values f of 0 equals 5 and f of 4 equals 17. Now, the worst part about this question is what does this mean? What the heck is that? Right? So let's remind you guys of a couple of things we did with functions. We said, remember, this notation, f of x equals, the f is a label, right? Doesn't mean anything. The thing inside the parentheses is your input, also known as your x values. The f of x is the function value, right? And it's, I, I wrote y there because we often think of it as the y. Uh, but we can also think, but, but function value is probably the better way to state it. It is the value of the function when we plug in this number. So when we see something like 0, 5, we have to recognize that this is the input and this is the output. Okay? This is the x and this is the y. So f of 0 equals 5 is simply the point 0 comma 5. Right? It's a fancy way, it is a function notation way of writing the point 0 comma 5. And f of 4 equals 17 is simply the point 4 comma 17. It is a fancy way of, of writing that point in function notation, right? Remember, x values are our inputs. They're our domain, right? Let's write, that, let's write that word down so it's one that we remember. This is the domain. This is the range, okay? The y values are the output values. They're the range. They're the function values, okay? Those are all words that mean the same thing. Y, output, range, function, value, all the same thing. So when it asks us to write an equation for the linear function of f with these values, it's saying write an equation with these two points. So let's write an equation with those two points. This, at this point, is exactly like what we did in the previous example. So my slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 which in this case is 17 minus 5 over 4 minus 0, which is 12 over 4, which is 3. So there's my slope. And what's my y-intercept? 
Well, notice this point right here. This has a zero for the x, right? A zero for the x means doo, 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 doo. we got a point right there on the y-axis. Zero five is right there. So what's my y-intercept? It's five. So my equation is y equals three x plus five. Yeah, that was terrible. And we are done. Again, I got two examples of this one waiting for you uh, in the next section below, and then one last video today with the answers explaining those two questions uh, that I'll have you write down. Below that will be your assignment uh, that relates to this particular chapter part. So go do those questions, then watch the next video.